Hello guys, this is Hector Timlin, and today uh, I'm gonna talk about the top four custom ROM for your beloved J7 uh, device. It's work mostly on the SMG 700 H F N M. So if your phone is not listed on that particular uh, ROM, make sure to at least ask one of the uh, ask the developer, or you can test it out to yourself. But make sure to back up your phone and then flash it, just in case if if it breaks or whatnot. Without further ado, let's move on to the top for custom ROM for Samsung Galaxy J7. So the fourth custom ROM for J7 is the Samsung Galaxy A5 which was ported for Samsung Galaxy J7. The ROM itself works pretty well, there's no bug at all, the camera works well, the audio, microphone, uh, the sensors, mobile network signal, video playback calls, FM radio. So there's no bugs however there are uh, some issues with it such as the Wi-Fi. So basically when you connect to the Wi-Fi your phone uh, might restart itself and uh, another problem is it only only supports one SIM card. So if you don't have any problem with that, then you can go ahead and flash this ROM. Other note to be mentioned is the UI design is pretty good. Uh, however, the notification bar is just as like the KitKat uh, UI design. So again, if you're fine with it, flash it. The third top custom ROM for J7 device is, well, it's very common and you probably know it. It is Sinogen Mod 13.0. Uh, well, I flashed this uh, ROM on my device and I pretty much enjoyed using it. However, the, there are a couple of bugs like camera and uh, the battery issues. So basically when you use your phone or when you keep it on standby, you'll notice that the battery drains a lot, a lot quicker than, than a stock ROM. So that's one of the, well actually, two of the drawbacks of this ROM. Other than that, this ROM works pretty well and there's no uh, issues at all. So if you are impatient like I am and want to download 6.0.1 uh, uh, ROM or like all the features, then you should go ahead and do so. The second top custom ROM for Samsung Galaxy J7 is again the Sinogen mod. 13.0. However, this one is an enhanced Sinogen mod custom ROM from the, the developer named AppPath01. When I flashed this ROM, I noticed a big difference compared to the previous Sinogen mod, which was created by uh, Messi2050. Anyways, this uh, the enhanced Sinogen mod is a lot faster, and I don't notice a lot of. Uh, battery issues, uh, overheating, however, the the only bug I have on this device is the camera. Top one, the number one top custom ROM for Samsung Galaxy G7 is the stock custom ROM. Well, that's what the ROM is called as. The ROM itself is really amazing. It is similar to the stock ROM, however, a couple of the a couple of stock uh, pre-installed application from your device is removed. and I noticed a big, big difference compared to other custom ROMs, which I was talking about earlier. This ROM, the performance is outstanding. The battery life, amazing. You get almost 20% extra battery life from it. And basically, this ROM, you can use it for a daily basis. Yeah, you don't have to root your device. Uh, you don't have to do anything with it. The, fo uh, the ROM itself is pre-installed with the custom kernel, the Super SU, which is the root in other words. The application doesn't have any bugs at all, everything works well, and if, if even if there was bugs, you can contact this developer and let you know, and he will contact you as soon as possible. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe to watch more useful videos for J7, J5, and any other Android devices. Peace.